What kind of life is that? <laughs> Listen to me. If you don't let me smell this thing, took me to the Middle East, that one, then took me to the desert. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Jessica and here I talk about hair, fragrances, and random DIYs. If you feel like you will be into any of that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like my videos. In today's video, this is my friend Abby and she's going to be rating some of my expensive perfumes. Yes. Uh, if you guys want to watch her rate my perfumes, keep on watching. So the first fragrance that she's going to be rating is the Gentle Fluidity from MFK. I'm not really going to be talking about the fragrance notes in this video, just her ratings. So let's see what happened, guys. Oh, I like this. Do you? Yes, this gives me like a fruity vibe. Like I smell like vanilla. Oh, if I'm okay. right. This, oh, I will wear this. You would? Yes, I definitely will wear this. Smells good, right? Oh. It smells awesome. So if you were rating this perfume, what would you what would you rate it out of a 10? Out of a 10, uh, I'll give it like a 7, 7.5. A 7.5? Yeah, because you know you don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. That like, you can wear this like an everyday scent. It's like, like mm -hmm. a go-to smell. I'll wear this as a go-to smell like, every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. So, so that was the Gentle Fluidity from MFK and it got a 7.5. 7.5. Moving on. So the next fragrance that she's going to be rating is the Roja Elixa. This is one of my favorite scents. That's light. Spread more. Please don't waste my perfume. <laughs> It's not bad. It, it's not bad, but it's a but. There's a but. Yeah, it's What's a the but. Ugh, okay, so I gotta get deep breaths. You know. Mhm. Mm it's a but to it. You know, like it's drying down. It's giving me a different smell than when I when it was just sprayed. Actually. Okay. So now it's drying down. I actually like the dry nail, so I can't even say a butt no more. Like, honestly, I can't, <laughs> the butt went away. The butt went away. When I just, when it was just sprayed, like it have a butt to it. It was giving me that, like a musky smell. I don't really go for musky stuff, but then it the dries powdery. down. You think it was powdery too? This, I was just gonna say, I love powder. I love powder for anything like that. But this powder smell, the dry nail is really, really good. What would you wear this to? I wear this to like, you know, not my first date, but probably on my second date, you know? Give him something <laughs> that chilling, mellow, like mm. a mellow vibe. Okay. That's what it's giving me. You know, he could be all up on my neck, you know, give my dad a hug and I'll be like, mmm. Oh. That's that vibe I'm getting. I'll definitely give yeah, I'll definitely give it an eight. Okay, because, so you like this one more than the other one. Yeah, the dry down, I actually like it more than the other one because this is giving me that mmm. You know, sophistication. Yes, that's sophisticated. You just be all upon, you know. When I wear this fragrance, I always say I feel like I'm floating. Like it's just, I feel like a princess with this with this scent on. Definitely, it makes you feel you you feel good. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, you feel you know, fabulous. Mm -hmm. It's like luxury. It's just. It's really like it's. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's a old out, but it's just like when you get hit, you're gonna be like, oh it's, my. God. Exactly. It's what not. You feel like it's not a strong scent because when you spray it, and you don't need a lot of this. Like a little of this goes a long way. Because when you spray it, you're like, huh? But that there's a softness to it that's also like really powerful, and it just mm, I can't. I can't. It's divine. I can't. I cannot describe it. But this perfume, you said it's an eight. It's an eight. So the okay. next scent that she's gonna be rating is the Angel Share by Killian. Like, first of all, can you appreciate this bottle? Like, such magnificence. <laughs> it's not bad. But I wouldn't wear it only because oh. I can't think of the name. Is this thing that we used in Jamaica? 
I just... You know jinxing? What? Jinxing. That's what it's called. Jinxing. It gives me that... Not saying it smells exactly like jinxing, but it gives me that... That smell from it, which I don't like. What? What is ginseng? So I think it's like an energy thing that somebody drink. It's like something that is good for your body. Something I don't know. The Jamaicans okay. gonna. If you're a Jamaican and you're watching this video, please tell us what ginseng is good for. But that's that's a that's the only reason why I wouldn't I wouldn't wear it. But I think that mm -hmm. it's really nice. Okay. I think it's really nice, and people who like those type of smell because I smell. They have some type of warmth. You it's can a definitely, very boozy, boozy. yeah. So you know, if you I love, love if you love liquor, this one. <laughs> she said she, you wouldn't wear it at all. I I don't. So it's not a. It's, it's not, not a thing. If I wear it, I wouldn't do like all over. I'd do like a little tight here and there. You know what I mean? Not too much because, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to be smelling it all over every time I went like go by me. You don't want to be but, smelling yeah, it. Yeah, but <laughs> I would wear it. But not all the time, you know what I mean? It will be like in one of those uh, pick out. But I'll definitely give it like a seven though, because it's a seven? It, yeah, it's not bad. It's actually not bad, but just me specifically wouldn't wear it mm -hmm. as much as that. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So the next set she's gonna be rating is the YSL Mon Paris. This smell like soap powder. What is soap powder? Yes. So you feel like it's a soapy scent? Yeah, it smells like not liquid soap. Soap in Jamaica we call it Bob soap, but it's like uh, the soap powder powder. You know what I mean? Though it dry down, definitely give me that soap, that powder, that soapy smell to it. So I'll give it like a five. A five? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was saying that first. <laughs> firm and strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the next scent that she's going to be rating is also from the house of Mason Francis Cartagon. Cajon. It is Grand Soar. I really like the color of that liquid. Like, is yeah, it give you that like um liquor look. It so, does. Yeah, it give you that liquor. It look. does give you that liquor look, but uh, yeah. But it's your favorite now, so. She loves strong. Yes, I love strong. You know, come at your house, they even knocking and just busting the door off and just come on inside. That's that strongness that she loves. You know me? The slap you in the face. The slap in the face <laughs> that you're not expecting, actually. <laughs> That's the one. I, those are the type of fragrances I like. Me, I'll tell you about the slap in the face, then I'll, you know, slap you. <laughs> <laughs> It's strong. You hear me clear my throat? It's strong, actually. It's really, really strong. Like, I can be out here and I'm strong. still smelling it. Doing strong. this and I'm smelling it. It's really, really strong. strong. It's nice. I would wear it, mm, like, you know, I'll be like off and on with it. This is smelling it that I don't like. I, I feel like. The reason I don't go with that type of smell is because one, it's gonna give me a headache. Definitely giving me a headache. Mm -hmm. Wait, the drying down is different though. That's why with some perfumes you have to give it like <laughs> let me give it the time. opening of some perfumes can be really sharp for some people. Some people can't take it. For some people it's like a lot. But you have to give the fragrance chance. Like you just have to like, you know, give it a couple minutes. But this one, I like the opening of this one. I don't think it's that strong. I, I The opening is very strong for me. I love it. Because I was just holding my sneezing while she was talking. Because that's how strong I'm telling you. Like, it's strong and it's nice. It's that musky smell. Like it'll give you that I'm the boss. You know, that vibe. That's what it's giving you. Oh, it's giving you boss vibe? Yeah, it's definitely giving you, let me let me walk in with, you know what I'm saying? I'm the boss, all eyes on me when I go through that door. That's the vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the dry down I actually like better than when it was just sprayed, actually. Okay. So my mm, will be like, then I'll wear it, okay. but not all the time. But I'll definitely wear it when I'm going somewhere when I want to make a statement. Yes. Definitely. This, def this want to make a statement. 
Yeah, definitely this we're ready. I'm gonna go make a statement somewhere. You know what I mean? I'm well dressed and you know I'm nice and you know, I'm acting bougie. I'm just, mm. Tell Jeb, tell Jeb. I, I'm definitely because this <laughs> giving me boss vibe. And you know we bosses, mm -hmm. so I'll definitely give this an eight. Definitely. So an I, eight. yeah. Cause it's, she it's, hella stingy, yo. No, I'll give it an but eight. Okay. I'll give it an eight. Hella it's stingy, nice. but okay. It's not something I'll wear every day, but I'll give it an eight. The next fragrance she's going to be rating is the Mancera Roses Vanille. Uh, if you watch my previous video, you know that this is actually a recent buy from me that I... Um, also trying out and getting to love myself, but I do, I've worn it a couple times and I do like it. Oh, I can't remember if I said the name, but it's Mancera Roses Vanille. I love this. Oh, okay. I like That's it. That's the first, I love this, I've heard. That's the first <laughs> time she said, ooh, I love this. Okay. I love this. Oh my God. This really smells good. It's a fan favorite. It's really, this smell, I'll wear this definitely. I'll, oh Lord, this I'll def I'll definitely wear this. Oh my god. It's giving me I'm not gonna smell it. Is that smelling powder to it now? It could be. Yeah, it's definitely for us. That's what I'm getting, the rose. Cause I'm saying um powder, but it's definitely it's a very rose. floral scent. This one? Woo! A whole nine, honey. A whole Ooh, okay. nine. We're getting closer to 10, so praise <laughs> the Lord. We're getting closer it's to really 10. It's really good. I'll definitely wear this. I'll definitely wear this smell like I'll wear this scent. If I want to, every day if I want to. You know what I mean? Okay. I'll mm -hmm. definitely wear it. So I'm you see this out. being a signature scent? This would be one of my signature scents. Like my go-to smell that I'll go on. Like if I'm going on my girl's trip and stuff, I'm just, I'm all up right, on So it. the next fragrance that she's going to be uh, rating is the Lanuit by Lancome. It is such a pretty bottle. It is beautiful. It is, right? All right, well, let's get into the scent. I can smell it from just doing this. That's I sweet. love my fragrances from Lancome. I feel like they're This just is really sweet. That's and very fruity. sweet. It's sweet. Like, I'm getting a little fruit, fruity, but I'm getting definitely getting sweet. Like, that, that's not, it's not that juvenile fruitiness. Mm -mm. It's, it's, yeah, but it's, it's sweet. Yes. that. What's her name? Marilyn Monroe. Oh, that's what she did? <laughs> Sophisticated, honey. Like, I'll, oh, Jesus. Help me, God. Because you really like this, it? yes. Okay. Because she hasn't been loving, like, she's been like, no, the I love okay. this. Actually, I, I love, love this. Like, if you know me, I love this. Definitely love this. I'll definitely give this a nine and a half. Definitely nine point five. We're getting close to ten. Definitely nine point five. We're getting five. close really, to really ten. Good. She's just very stingy. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I used to do that all the time in the mall. The me. ones in the mail or yes. the one um the magazine. The, the magazines. <laughs> and you open it, you be Robbie. I'm honey. Oh, I'm smelling good. Thank God for growth. <laughs> Listen, definitely. Mm. <laughs> so the next fragrance that I have, I'm not even gonna try to say the name of this. It's Rosasi. One of my subscribers actually mentioned this fragrance. Well, not this particular one, but like this house. Shout out to you, Alicia. It's the Rosasi La something Pour Femme. And it comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous box that's like magnetic. It's really cute and I like that matte. Mm -hmm. matte it's like this beautiful matte bottle like I don't know if you guys see that it is just so pretty I think the bottle is absolutely phenomenal it's simplistic but chic why are you scared to give it to me <laughs> why are you scared <laughs> oh my god I'm smelling Now you see why she's scared to give it to me now. I cannot wear this. I could not. <laughs> I knew she was no, gonna say not. that. I knew she was gonna say that. But I like it though. So but this fragrance packs a punch. Ooh. It's strong. It slaps you. It, it gets you here. It makes you want to spit, actually. This is not a, this isn't you. 
it's strong where first time I sprayed it I literally only sprayed one and I couldn't take it like I I, I was just like whoo yeah, Jesus definitely. I cannot do probably more than two maybe like one and two and then that's it honestly and I'm <laughs> maybe I might spray something else to make it like actually no I might just do one two and I'll be okay yeah because spraying it. something else is just gonna it's already strong you maybe just over I don't even know. I feel I'm not gonna put anything with it. It's not a sweet fragrance. Definitely. And you, I don't is, get sweetness from it. This one is very tart. It's bitter, but I love it. It I, is so strong. You see, I'm sweating. I'm getting nauseous, honey. In real life, nauseous. If you're <laughs> hungry and you don't eat, you better not spray this spray on. <laughs> no, seriously. If you haven't eat and you spray this fragrance on you, you're gonna pass out. You're gonna drop. Faint. You're not gonna die. But you're gonna faint, honey. You're gonna just have all that sweat, cold sweat, washing you. You're be like, why am I feeling so? Mm, because it's make it make me nauseous, honestly. I'm, and there's no reason for me to be nauseous, but the, the smell is so strong, like it just kicked me in the face, like before I even go like this. So would you wear it? No, I will die. <laughs> what would you rate it? Forget the fact that it's like strong. Like actually I, get into the. To scent. be honest, like. Even though that's not my cup of tea, and let me just say for the persons out there that love that strong, bold, you know, out the door smell, it's definitely something that you guys would wear, but it's just too strong for me. I can't have it, but I'll definitely give it like an eight. Oh, I'll give it an eight. Okay. Just because I don't, I don't want to say because I don't like it that much. You know what I mean? Like because only reason I, I mean, but that is it's your rating. It's though. my rating, but if it wasn't this strong. Mm -hmm. I probably would have wear it. Like it cut, if it cut, the strongest was dry cut down. down a little bit more, because mm -hmm. even the dry down is still strong. Yeah. So that's the reason why I would say probably an eight because it's just too much for me. It's giving me a headache. If not, I would have wear it. Okay. Yeah. So the next fragrance that I have for her to test out is also from the house of MFK. Clearly, I'm obsessed with MFK fragrances, uh, and that is the very very popular Barcarat Rouge 540. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. What is no? Because you set me up with that one just now that almost knocked no, me well, off this no, chair. No, well, no, I don't know that. No, this I don't. This one is not like that. Oh. Okay. That's why y'all acting up like this. You set me up because this really smells. I thought it was gonna be something strong. I don't know why you think. <laughs> It's a strong. It's, it's, it's no, it's, I mean like that it's strong, musky, but no, but it's, it's not. not that, yeah, it's not the dark scent that I. It's, was yeah, doing. I'll definitely wear this. Okay. Not every day though. You know what I mean? Okay. This is a lot of people's everyday scent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For people no, that this no, this not would be my everyday smell because it's like I'll go more like with that one I tried earlier that I gave a, a nine and a half to. The uh, Lancome. Yeah, that like one and what? the one that I gave a nine. I'll the roses for now. Yeah, I'll wear those like you know what I mean? A mm -hmm. go-to smell like you know. Okay, but this one's not every day. But this I would wear this every day. I'll wear this like if I'm going out for dinner, I'm going out for something like intimate, you know what I mean? Okay. I'll definitely it's wear this. It's sweet. You think it's sweet? Yeah, and it's sweet and it's giving me that smell to it, you know what I mean? What is that? Pop. Explosion, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll wear it. Since I, I really like it, is it is it fair for me to put all these numbers in the same category? These perfect in the same numbers? That's fine. Yeah, that's it's yeah, your. I'll rating. definitely give it a nine. A nine? Okay. Mm -hmm. At least it's nine. up there. Yeah, because I really like it. I'll okay. wear it like if I'm going out. You know, I'm going out for dinner, mm -hmm. and I'm real dressed and nice. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm semi formal. I'm putting this on and I'm going out. Even for a formal thing, you can put it on and you still get, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. So the last set that she's gonna be rating today is actually one that I'm gonna be rating as well because I just got this in the mail. I have been waiting for it and I'm so excited. And I just figured I would do an unboxing here. Yep, it came in the box and it comes like that. It's the Zerjaw from the Shooting Stars collection. Cruise Del Sur one, not the two, but the one. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's see what this is all about. It's like Christmas came early. Oh, okay. 
And so the name right there. This is the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Sucky, sucky. I like that. That's See purple. That? that is just so. Ooh, I thought this was paper, but it's That's not. That's like velvet, right? Yeah. My God. It's Talk the packaging for me. It is the packaging for me. Like, what? If you watch original, the, the spin-off from original, I think is Legacy. Legacy. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a school with witches and stuff like that. People who have all those superpowers. Mm. This give me that vibe, that, that vibe. vibe from it. You know what I'm saying? Like something about to happen. Mm -hmm. it got some powers in there, honey. Okay. I'm excited, excited, excited. Ooh. This one for you. One for me. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it on myself actually. Yeah. You wanna spray it on mm -mm. It's strong. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is very, it's strong. Put it on me, I'm gonna have my head gonna fall off. This, I don't have a fragrance that smells like this. I don't even know it's what this different. is. It's, yeah. It's so strong. It's, it's so, so different. This might sound crazy, but on paper, it to me, it has a bad smell. There's something in it that smells foul on paper, but on my skin, um, now on my skin I still get this, but it's it's like it's changing. It's definitely changing on your skin. Yeah, on my skin I feel like it's definitely changed. it's still strong. It's still strong, but there, it's not as there's a scent here that I don't like. There's something here it's I do like not like. It's not like incense that you used to burn your house out. I smell, I, I get incense. Incense, I definitely get that. This smell. is not fruity. This is not sweet. I feel like this is definitely leaning a lot more towards masculine. Definitely. It's a unisex fragrance, but um, definitely, definitely leaning more towards masculine. What, what would you rate this? A four. You said a four. I don't like it. That's the it's lowest. Just, and this is one of the most on expensive on your, ones. Can see this one? These Middle East, you know, people from the Middle East will wear. Yeah, it smells like it smells like like from, like from Dubai. It give you that rich. There's, there's a luxury to yeah, it. Yeah, that luxury smell to it. Like I said, that's why I said Middle East fragrance is dark. It's not. Fl it's an amber spicy fragrance. The top notes are rum. Grapes and bergamot. I'm just surprised this has bergamot. Middle notes are dried fruits, cloves, cumin, cedar, cinnamon. Base notes are leather, cast castorium, mare, incense. Okay. Labdanum, sandalwood, and amber. So it's like an incense smell. It's a very like. Oof. This this smells like a powerful man. That. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that man that That's had not for a woman. Money. This smells like a powerful mm -hmm. man. Definitely. I thought my Black Orchid Tom Ford was a unique scent. This one, this is unique. That's not the chain. The, the packaging is sophisticated. Packaging and nice, is, but packaging is a ten for me. Yeah. The scent for me would be a six. Okay. If I'm being honest, it, it'll be a six because I like strong, but in my head I imagine something and it's not giving me that. It's it's not right. giving me what I thought it would give me. I'm, I'm definitely going to try this out on a day where I haven't sprayed anything else. Like I will spray it and then just test it and mm -hmm. see how it is. Because I feel like I can't really give it like an honest review because of all the different fragrances that we have in the air right now. This is not a safe blind buy. This is not a safe <laughs> blind buy. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of progress that I'll be like, it's a safe blind buy. This is not a safe blind buy. Smell this before you buy it. Smell it before you buy it. You Definitely. just might not like it. I see a lot of people not liking this scent. I, I, I see a lot of people not liking this scent. If you don't like the Black Orchid by Tom Ford, don't even go near this scent. 
If you like it, I would still recommend you test it out. Don't be like me. Test it out. Yeah, that brings us to the end of my video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy watching. I had fun filming. Uh, yes, those smells, but you know, there's some that knocked me off the chair. <laughs> but <laughs> after one knocked me off, I have something that's that bring me right back. You know, so honestly, they're all nice. Okay. But yeah, they are. Yeah. They're my a few strong though. ones in there, but they're definitely good. I enjoy them. And that was just a few of them. I, I don't know. She can't handle the rest of my collection if she was dying over those. Mm -hmm. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life is that? <laughs> Listen to me. If you don't let me smell this thing, took me to the Middle East. That one then took me to the desert. <laughs> Anyhow, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about the perfume. Uh, share the video. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Put the name of all the fragrances as well in the description box. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.